this is the second experiment for the Streptococcus species that we're working with. In this uh, case, you're going to be trying to isolate Streptococcus from the oral cavity. The previous one was with the upper respiratory tract. So remember, Streptococcus prefers a slightly less concentration of oxygen than what we have in the atmosphere. So you have to keep that in mind when we incubate them. For this one, what you're going to do is take a cotton-tipped uh, applicator, or basically the cotton-tipped <laughs> huge uh, Q-tip is what it looks like. You are going to swab it along your gum line. And then we have two different types of medium. In the Petri dish, we have what's known as the Midas salivaris auger. This is selective for streptococcus. It has enrichment media um, or nutrients in it, which the streptococcus requires. So you're going to take that uh, cotton tipped applicator and just swab it, just rub it across the surface of the, the Midas salivaris plate. Take another cotton tipped applicator and once again rub it along the uh, gum line and then you're going to use that to inoculate the Todd Hewitt broth. This is in a test tube because it is a broth. This also is an enrichment medium. And what we often find is a it's an enrichment medium that allows the streptococcus to grow. And then it also, towards the bottom of the broth, it tends to be more anaerobic, certainly less oxygen. So that's where we tend to see the, the growth occurring. So you just dip the cotton uh, tipped applicator into the broth after you've swapped along the gum line and then dispose of it properly. The Todd Hewitt broth you can put into the incubator, the Midas salivaris auger plate you're going to put into a candle jar. After the incubation period, you will look at both of them and observe them for growth. The Todd Hewitt broth should be turbid like we often see with broth, but like I just said, the growth is usually going to be along the bottom of the two. The Midas salivaris auger is a selective medium, and so what we find is it's selected for the streptococcus and the streptococcus will appear as little blue uh, colonies on it. This media is blue to begin with. You often see clearing around it and then you do see the colonies with that blue pigmentation in them. That is indicative of streptococcus. So these are just two additional tests in addition to the blood plates that you previously did for growing streptococcus. You tend to do the blood plate for the upper respiratory, uh, doing a throat swab, but along the gum lines, we're looking uh, for a different species of strep, and we would do the Midas salivaris plate. 